What's up creators, it's Josh. Today I'm going to show you how you can hide items from your recent projects lists without actually deleting them. There are two main ways you can do this. One is easy and one is a bit harder because it involves editing an XML file, which isn't too difficult, but some people just aren't comfortable doing that. In any case, let's get right into it. So I have these three example projects right here, example one, two, and three. And the first way I'm going to show you how to do this is you simply navigate to the file and I'm just going to right click it on the file name and you can see the location of the project file so I'll navigate to this location I have it open on an Explorer window on the side here and I've saved all three of them here just for the purpose of demonstration I'm gonna make a new folder and I'm gonna call it hidden projects and before I proceed I'm gonna go ahead and close Adobe Premiere Pro now I'm gonna go back to the Explorer window and I'll drop them into the hidden projects folder and now when we relaunch Premiere Pro we'll see that those three projects are missing. What happens is when you launch Premiere Pro, it's going to check where every file is. And if they aren't there, then they'll just be omitted from this list. Now this change is permanent. So if I close Premiere Pro and I go back and I take these three files and drop them back into the recent projects folder and I relaunch Premiere Pro, you can see that they're not actually back in the recent projects list. If you want them to show up here again, you'll have to open them all up individually by double clicking one. As soon as I open a project and then I close it, it appears back on the recent projects list. So that's a quick and easy way to hide your project files. Now the next method I'm going to show you involves a little bit of code editing inside Premiere Pro's prefs XML file. To find the XML file you need to edit, it's fairly easy. Just go to your documents, Adobe, Premiere Pro, the version that you're using and in my case it's 22.0 and then you open your username in this folder. The file that we're looking for here is called Adobe Premiere Pro Prefs. It is an XML file. You can use any text editor to open it. I'm gonna use Notepad++ to do that but first I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste it so that I have a backup. This is what we can use to revert back in case we wanted to. You see with this method you can hide your recent projects and then you can even bring them back. So now that I have created a backup I'm gonna go ahead and open this up with Notepad++. Okay so here we are in the XML file. The way you remove items is basically one by one. Just so you know, with coding, lists usually start counting at zero. So this would be position number zero, position number one, position number two, right? The first item is always zero. So for that reason, we're going to open up the find dialog and we're going to search for mru.document.0. That will be the first entry and by the way mru stands for most recently used so in this case it says document zero and this is where is document zero and if i right click here i'll see that exact same path so it's saying document zero is here and if i wanted to remove it from the list all i'd have to do is select this entire section and remember it's code so it has the beginning part and then it has the middle part, which goes all the way down this way. And then it has the closing part. What we want to do is delete the beginning, middle and ending like this. If I save it right now, it won't work. Why? Because I have Premiere Pro open. Every time you open or close Premiere, it rewrites this whole file. So you will lose anything you do between opening and closing it, right? So I'll go ahead and close it first. And here we have Notepad++ saying this file has been modified and that's exactly what I just told you about. So it's going to ask me if I want to reload it and lose the changes. I could also just say no and I'll save it now. And now if I launch Premiere Pro, we can see that the one I had open here, it was one of the example projects. It's missing from this list. I'm going to go ahead and close Premiere Pro again and I'm going to say yes, reload it. Now if I scroll down here, we can see that there's a new entry for document zero and that's because every other item on the list has been moved up by one so if i wanted to remove everything from the list i just have to remove everything that starts and ends with be prefs mru document and then a number I'm gonna go ahead and do that remove this one and if it says date and size you don't have to worry about removing those just worry about removing the ones with paths behind them like this one just a document the number and then it's a path Here's another one, and here's another one, here is another one. Just to be thorough, I'm going to go ahead and open up the find dialog, and I'll remove the number, and I'll go back to the top here, I'll go find the next, that one says date, 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 size, size, date, size, and so it seems like I've covered all of them. I'm going to save this file, and launch Premiere Pro again, and as you guessed, 
It's completely empty. There are no recent projects. And back when we started, I told you we could bring those back. So we can do that. I'm gonna go ahead and just close this. I'll go back to the prefs folder. Remember we made a copy. So what we'll do is we will rename this one. We'll call it clean. And then we'll rename the copy just to remove everything behind it. And then Adobe will look for this as the file. So I'll go ahead and launch Adobe again. And here we have it. All the project files are back. Now, anytime you want to go back to a clean file, all you have to do is close Premiere Pro, rename the original to something else, and then remove the part of it that says clean, and then launch Premiere Pro again. Like magic, it'll be empty. As always, if this video helped you, remember to leave a like. If you don't want to miss any extra tips, remember to subscribe. This was Josh, and I'll see you in the next video.